with Cheryl Lanzer and uh, Cheryl did uh, the Breakthrough M2 Weight Loss program and she lost about 25 pounds, maybe more at this point. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's up. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. And she did that in how many days, Cheryl? Or how many, how long? Probably in the initial 40, I did close to 22. And then now I've been in maintenance, but I'm still going down because I changed my goal. That's awesome. All right, good. Now you can continue to lose in step four and beyond. And I know coach Diane is giving you lots of great tips on how to do that. Following your blood type, right? I know she's probably talked to you about that already. All right. So today Cheryl has agreed to come online with me and do this really fun, what we call success cream. I don't know if she'll be screaming or not, but that's okay. Uh, we are going to be celebrating for sure because this is a big deal. Cheryl, do you have any kind of dieting history? I do. Um, I, you know, I'm one of those people that goes up and down a lot. Let's just say I'm closer to the end of my career than the beginning. <laughs> Actually, I don't, I don't really mind. I'm 58. Okay. And I early, you know, I went through menopause and all that stuff. And that was where it started to get really bad. Like, I would be bloated and I wouldn't look right and I wouldn't, and it was just, it was horrible. And so I would do these diets where, you know, you'd eat this prepared food or you'd, you know, try to do these specific meal types and it just wouldn't stick because it wasn't addressing the psyche of it. Like mm-hmm. it wasn't speaking, like you couldn't relate to it. Yeah. It wasn't I, sustainable just, either. I, Well, I could just say, I mean, I'll continue on, but one of your videos where you talk about the little hands. Yes. That has stuck with me for Mm -hmm. ever. (laughs) (laughs) Yay. (laughs) Good. Yeah. And the other thing is I've never been, I've never been the little one. I've never been the skinny one. I've always teetered, you know, right in that. And when I gain weight, that's when I go through my closet and go, all right, I need to throw out all my clothes and go get clothes. And my husband's like, no, we could actually go on a diet. <laughs> you don't need to do that. Good for you, Good for you guys for saying that. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. And now you're a size four, you wrote down. So I did. I have not been a size four ever. I can't believe it. I'm getting, we're, the whole reason we tried, we started this was because my stepdaughter's getting married in September. And last summer, my husband is a retired fire, um, he is a volunteer retired firefighter. Mm-hmm. And um, he was marching. And he could not fit into his dress blues. Yeah. I had to re-sew his buttons. And he even went out and got one of those like things. And he was so (laughs) mad. He said, I can't do this. I can't, I can't walk my daughter down the aisle like this. And and actually, so I started shopping for my dress. Mm -hmm. My dress was a size nine in juniors. I couldn't believe it. And he can fit into his tuxedo. So he's very happy. Yep. And you know what? One of those things, you know, we always have those little things too. Keep trying that on every week. Um, Actually, (laughs) I I have a great secret. So you know how you'll have different pairs of pants or shirts or something that may be little different sizes and you don't want to get rid of them because you love them. Yeah. If I try on a pair of pants that's too small, this is before I got to the floor. I would turn them inside out and put them at the front of my closet. Okay. So every time I kept going down and wait, every couple of weeks, I'd go and try them on. I don't have any pants inside out anymore. <laughs> There's a non-scale victory. <laughs> that is awesome. I love it. That's how you keep track. That's really funny. It is. But I do weigh myself I, yeah. every day. I do weigh, weigh myself. And Mm-hmm. I don't know if Diane told you this, but so I was going to Arizona for the month of March, right when I went into transition and I still kept my meetings with her. Mm-hmm. I still stayed on program. I was able to have cocktails with my friends mm-hmm. and I came home a pound and a half lighter and I was there nice. for a month. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, good. Good. You didn't, you didn't go up and that's awesome. No, actually I I stay with friends and I cooked for them. I made them take me to the grocery store and I made them eat like I do. You know, it's so funny. We were talking about that today in the office and 
so many times people acquiesce to this place in their in, in their minds where they say they're not able to be in control. And it is so just a misperception. You can always be in control. Always. You, you can know, make I, a choice. Yes. I tell my kids that all the yes. time. I, you know, they're short on your budget. You made a choice to go shopping and buy makeup instead of putting that money back in your bank account. You made right. a choice. <laughs> right. All right. Now, let me ask you this. A lot of people, when they go on diets, especially like our type of a diet, with the limited amount of proteins, vegetables, and, you know, food choices and stuff, they feel deprived. Now, that was something that you definitely wrote down that I loved your answer. Did you feel deprived on this program? And if not, why? No, you have to, well, first of all, I love to cook and I love to bake. Just like anything else, your food taste will change, you know, over time. And one of the things that I've learned is use spices, use fresh herbs, and don't eat until you're sick. I mean, when you start eat, when you start to do this program and you start eating, even when you transition out, there is, you can't eat nowhere near like you used to. And I, I can swear by that because when I was in Arizona, I did eat at a couple of my favorite restaurants. No way did I eat anywhere close to what I used to intake, yeah. not even close. And so I did, I didn't feel deprived. And the other thing is I, I looked a lot at the recipes that you guys had mm. and I started to do my own. Good. Did it, get, it just gave you ideas. Of course it gave me yeah. ideas. It was That's, great. Yes. You know? Yes. If you don't like mean, something on there, at least it'll give you something to think about. Well, I loved, I loved the fake mojito. That was awesome. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it was. <laughs> so, well, I found, I don't know if you know what, do you know what Spindrift is? Mm -mm. It's like a, like a flavored seltzer. Okay. Yeah. They have, it's called no Hito, and you just add oh. coconut stevia oh. and a little bit of fresh mint. And I swear to God, it tastes like a mojito. <laughs> we'll have to put that on our, uh, we're going to be getting an Amazon shop soon for breakthrough. Yeah, we'll have to find that and just add it on. We, if you if you could have a way that we could add recipes to it, it would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, you can add recipes to our website, right on your oh, dashboard. Love, There's a recipe I, submission. I love. I have a caramel apple recipe. You would never oh, believe nice. it. All right, well, right on your dashboard, and if you can't figure it out, it's pretty easy. It says submit recipe, and it allows you to just submit it in exact format we need. You can upload a picture and then I fix it to make sure it's all in order and all that and before it goes out. So if you want to submit your recipes, we would. I will. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I forgot to take a picture of it today when yeah. I got it. Yeah, good. All right. Now, where are you going from here? You're in transition, right? You're in step four transition, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're heading down to your second goal. You want to get down to your 128 to 130, you said, right? 125 to 128. 125, right. Okay. Because you want to give yourself a little bit of wiggle room there and you're almost there. All right. So uh, now any other transformation goals that you have after this or you're just maintaining, are you going to go like to the gym? You know, people always add these things. In you know, I, so yes. Uh, first of all, I have some gym stuff in my house and I wanted to show you this. So I got these little mm -hmm. ankle and wrist weights. Wow. I wear them in my house, just walking back and forth from my office and stuff that has toned my arms. My arms don't bother me anymore, but they don't have the flab anymore. Oh, oh I'm buying them. <laughs> I got them on Amazon. They were awesome. I'm buying them. You just need to get up and move. Yeah. So uh, top three, either ahas or I ams or what were your top three of them? Uh, I don't always have to sit and snack. I started, my husband and I are big coffee drinkers and we used to drink coffee at night. So we might put like an Irish cream in there and then we might have dessert. I don't have to do that anymore. Like I'll, I made the apple cinnamon tea. That's yep. the detox tea. I yep. love that. And I have apple cinnamon tea bag. So I drink that at night and it's very soothing or, or ginger lemon tea. I actually I just went one. out and bought some turmeric. Yep. From, I have really, but you can't see it, but I, I, oh, that's another thing. I've had really bad acne, like okay. um, cystic 
acne and, yes. and 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 later ladies in their later stage of life 50s and 60s sometimes will get that All those hormonal changes it's terrible yeah it's horrible <laughs> so yeah so that that was another thing that happened my skin started to clear up Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. Oh. Another thing that I will tell you, and this was this was actually a big one. Over the last year, probably up until uh, December of last year, so a year before that, I had chronic itching. And when I say itching, I mean I had back scratchers all over the house, oh. in my oh. car, and I was itching from head to toe. I had sores everywhere. Now, Yes, it's under control. And yes, I use medicine for that. But I do believe that my diet change mm -hmm. definitely impacted it. Yep. Because, I, and, I, and I'm telling you, I went to dermatologists, allergists, rheumatologists. I have been the gamut. And, yeah. you know, so, sometimes they just can't tell you. You know, I was, I, I, I was thinking about this the other day, too. I that toxic load that we're all accumulating over the years, it just gets to that point where it's one more thing and it just starts dripping over the edge of the cup. You know what I'm saying? And now all of a sudden, all of us from about the age of 40 on up, because around the age of 40, women in this country have to start wearing glasses. It's pretty amazing, right? Other countries are not like this. It's not normal for 40 year olds in other countries to have to wear glasses, right? But it is normal here. <laughs> So, you know, that toxic load can only be sustained for so long. And then when it starts just leaking out into the body, because the body just can't put it anywhere else, and it continually has the incoming toxins from our food, from our hair care, from makeup, from laundry, from cleaning agents, from environment, from, 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 from. And women are way more susceptible to these toxins than men are. Right. So they are seeing it more often because their hormones get thrown off so much more so. And, uh, you know, when you get to oh. a certain point, it's like, it, you just, the body has nowhere else to put it. All right. So what is your number one piece of advice for someone who might be considering breakthrough M2? Do it. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you don't, you don't have anything to lose. If you, if you, if you're looking at M2, you have looked at many different programs Yeah. and I mean, I looked at many different programs, M2, and I'm, I'm a reader. Like I got to mm -hmm. have all the information mm -hmm. you got to know. But when I first got into it, I wasn't sure, but what I'm telling you, when I started talking with Georgia and Diane, mm -hmm. when I spoke to you that one time, it's just a different community. Wow. And I yeah. learned, mm -hmm. you know, and when you have the coaches, you are responsible for you know, making sure that you're telling them what you're doing is you're doing and the scale right. keeps you honest. I know people hate the scale and right. yeah, it upsets my husband a couple of times, but yeah, okay, that's a reality check. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. The scale, what we really truly want for people is we want the scale to be a tool, not something that is, you know, throwing you into emotional, you know, topsy turvy there. You know, it's, no, supposed it's, just supposed, a, it's just a tool. That's it. It's supposed to let you know also what things will trigger you. You know, like one yeah. of the things is like, I, I do love cauliflower and broccoli and I have found 8 million recipes to make it, but I <laughs> bought some, I love pretzels and I haven't had them mm. and I bought some cauliflower pretzels, but they were a trigger. Yes. Yeah, that's another trigger. reason why we tell people don't do the root beer or coca-cola stevia in seltzer like we don't want people doing that kind of stuff especially if they're the ones that might have been addicted to soda so that's why no, we people, no, no. No. you know what i mean My, like, you know people ask all the time can i have those little stevia mints or candies or whatever there's no sugar and i'm like no just stay away from anything that could mimic those trigger foods for you because eventually what happens is if you don't let go of that need to have it when you're having emotional stress, and then you don't learn how to deal with the emotional stress without using those types of crutches, when you get off, you'll end up going back to them since you can. So that's true. That's true. Now I do. And um, well, my dear, I appreciate you so much. Now, are you going to scream for us that you did it? Or are you just going to say whatever you want to say? <laughs> 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, I did it. Everybody can do it. It's awesome. It it really is. And I I actually took, you know, I, I can't thank you enough. It it does everything for me. It's meal prep, it's yeah. eating better, it's sleeping better. It's yeah. just being aware of your body. Yes. And it's sustainable to, it's sustainable it's to do totally all that stuff. Sustainable. You can go out to eat. You don't have to, it, everybody's got whole food. You know, I love how you put it in your thing. You know, you, you, you have food that's available. That's, you can get it anywhere. It's not, it's not all this special food. It's, you can get it anywhere. I have a one great story and then, then you could go. Yeah. I went to a conference while I was in Arizona. I had to go to a woman's cybersecurity conference in Colorado. And it was at this beautiful resort. And so they would have uh, classes all these days and they would have different treats in the middle, you know, they, so they always had like a vegetarian and stuff section mm -hmm. for people who didn't eat all that other stuff. Well, they yeah. always had like fruit. So I was always swiping apples and oranges from there. Okay. Well, when you, when you go to these conferences, you get swag bags, you know, where you can walk around the booth yep. and put literally so I came home from the conference and I emptied my swag I had three apples in there I couldn't believe it that's great though <laughs> that's great so you can do it you don't have yes. to do that you can do it <laughs> right good I know I know you know and, all the time, and but... I'm making you know and I'm making my you know like I found things to you can have what you like. Like when I was in Arizona, I made cauliflower mashed potatoes for my girlfriend. I swear to you, she was licking the bowl with her finger. Oh, that's so funny. So funny. She goes, I don't have to have regular potatoes. I said, I know. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and you can make them good. And, you know, and then when you get off the program, as far as like step five, if you have, if you like a little butter, you can add a little butter at that point or whatever, but you know, it, you learn to really, you can make them really good. You don't even need it. It's like, no, actually what I do is I put in fresh chives and onion powder and a little bit of perfect. pink salt. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Okay. My dear. Well, Cheryl, thank you so much. Thank you for putting your time aside. Thank you for doing this program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you for this. Thank you for <laughs> this. Yes. You are so welcome. And uh, tell your hubby, you know, we're very proud of him too. And, I know. Uh, yes. And uh, he's I'll send you amazing we, we at the wedding. Have, yes, I will send you. Actually, I will send you a picture of when we go. Yes, that's going to be really exciting. Really. It is very exciting. It is. Okay. Have a wonderful evening. You too, Nan. Thank you so much for everything. Absolutely. Bye-bye, Cheryl. Bye. -bye, Cheryl. Bye.